Hi, my name's Callie and welcome to my channel Wild Grit. So, you probably don't know this about me, but I have worked in the bike industry for the past six years and during that time I've picked up a ton of tips, tricks, and mechanical experience. I'm on a road trip right now and my diesel tank this little thing right there that fuels my heater sprung a leak and sprayed diesel oil all over my bike. Uh, it got all over my disc brakes. They are contaminated. So today I'm gonna show you how you can fix noisy brakes in the parking lot of a park without a repair stand. All you need are a few simple tools. You need some 80 to 100 grit sandpaper, some isopropyl alcohol, or denatured alcohol if you have some, some Allen wrenches, blue shop towels that are completely clean, and a propane torch. And with all of these things, we're gonna get your brakes going from noisy and scary and squealy to hopefully being completely quiet. So first things first is to pick up some supplies. I have everything I need in my van except for rubbing alcohol, so I'm gonna go run to the store and pick some up right now. so that I can set up my bug repair camp and uh, get fixing things. I have a very few essential tools in my van, but there's no repair stand. This is a small van, there's no room for that. Some awesome rigs that I figured out when turning a bike upside down doesn't cut it. Tree branches are great. Ropes from ceilings are great. It's pretty easy to get crafty. So no excuses, let's do this. All right, so the very first thing that we're gonna do is flip the bike upside down on the ground. I lower the dropper post all the way and that seems to make it have the most stable platform. And now we're gonna pop the wheels out. All right, so the next step is rubbing alcohol. We're gonna clean the rotors. I like to transfer mine into a spray bottle like so. I mean, you can also pull out a rag and just dab it on with a rag, but it's best if you can spray it and just totally drench the rotors. Grab some blue shop towels or paper towels. These are a little bit better because they're less likely to leave any residue behind. Just be sure it's clean. It's a lot easier to do this once than repeat it two or three times if it doesn't work the first time. So I just like to do a super good job the very first time. I've got this awesome torch here. It's got a self-ignition and slowly burn the rotor. We're actually applying heat. Now you wanna keep it moving. You don't wanna hold it in one spot because that can actually damage the metal. This is just a light flame that's gonna singe off any debris and oil that is still on your rotor and still contaminating it even after cleaning it with the rubbing alcohol. Don't touch it, don't add it back into your bike yet. We're just gonna leave it here, let it cool off for a few minutes. Now I've got my three millimeter Allen key and I'm gonna pop the bolt that holds the brake pads in and then we're gonna start sanding them. Now I've got myself a clean sheet of 80 grit sandpaper. Um, any coarse sandpaper will do. The whole point is that you just wanna take a light surface layer off of the brake pads braking material. So I'm gonna pop the brake pads back in, uh, pop in the wheels, and then we're gonna go ride around and bed the pads in. And the process is complete. For the final step, 
we're gonna bed in the brake pads, which just make the brake pads and the metal mesh together so there's a really grippy braking surface. And the way that this is done is going from a high speed to a stop about 10 to 15 times. This is best done in the flat, just in a parking lot. So the bike sounds dialed. We have no squeaking, thank goodness. So we don't have to be replacing any pads or rotors today. So let's say that you do all of these steps and your rotors are super clean and your pads are clean and you're still getting squeaking on your next trail ride. You need to do this a couple times, one to two more times, give it a really good shot and then at that point it's probably gonna be time for new rotors and new brake pads. And this is manufacturer given advice. This is what they tell you when you call SRAM or Shimano and say my brakes are squeaking. The only thing that is supposed to touch your brakes is isopropyl alcohol and clean towels. That's it. No chain loop, no WD-40. Isopropyl alcohol. Like most things, the best way to take care of the problem is just avoiding oils and contamination in the first place. Generally, brake pads get contaminated when you touch them with dirty hands or you ride through a city street puddle that has some car oil in it. I guess the key is to be super observant here and figure out what possibly could have happened when you went from the trails to your garage. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below any other tips that I might have forgotten. I'm super stoked to be here on YouTube and I can't wait to share more mechanic advice. Tell me what sort of videos you guys wanna see. Coming to you hot tomorrow is definitely going to be a riding video in the Sokol Demonstration Forest. And I'm so excited because one of my favorite trails in California is there. So we're going to go test out the squeak levels tomorrow. But until then, I'll see you guys later.